Hello, this is Joseph with your 10th tutorial on QML programming. In this tutorial, I'd like to go a little bit more into detail with properties and go into something called signals. In between the tutorials, I added some code um, just to uh, so you guys wouldn't have to see me type in a bunch of uh, code. And you already know what these are from the last tutorial. And down in the mouse area here, I just added in what needed to be added in the button dot entered scale so on and so forth I went down through them and we have hover enable set to true now something that we can do with hover enabled is let's make another signal we can say property uh, this one's going to be bool a boolean property and the name of it is going to be hover enabled and the value we're going to set to false okay so this is currently always set to be false okay so let's go down and fill in the area where it needs to be so hover enabled okay now we're going to set this to be button dot hover enabled oops okay so now if we go back over into our text field right here and we go over and we actually put in our my button element here. If we actually put in hover, hover enabled, and let's put in false. Okay. Well, let's put in true because it's always false. And we run this. When we scale over it, it works because hover, hovering over it is enabled. If we go and set this to be false. it doesn't work. Now let's talk about signals. And to do signals we're just going to start a new file, new application I should say, to be able to uh, show you exactly what signals are. Um, signals are used often, especially in mouse areas. Um, yeah, so let's get rid of this right here. We don't need this. And I'm just going to make a quick app, really quick. I'm going to go over to our design. We're going to take the background and we're going to change the color to be say, I don't know, right about there. Let's add another rectangle to it. Right in the center. And let's scale this down. Oop. And I'm just doing this really quick, um, or at least trying to. Okay, and let's change the color on that to be black, okay, or as close to black as we can get it. Let's add another rectangle, let's turn the radius on this to be I don't know, about 20, let's try 180. as high as it'll go. Okay. Copy and paste another one on there. Copy and paste another one on there. Change this one right here to have the color of red. This one to have the color of yellow. This one to have the color of green. Now this is a traffic light. If we run this, we get our traffic light. Now if I was to add a mouse area to each one of these things, okay, and I clicked on it and I wanted it to say go across the screen, right? That would be a signal that the green light is emitting. The green light would be emitting the signal to go. 
the red light emits the signal of stop and the yellow light is the signal for slow down or caution to slow it down some. So in our mouse area over in text, I'm sorry, in mouse blue rec mouse area, we have it on click set as council log. If we go up into where our properties are and we write in signal and let's say button clicked, okay, now if we go down to our on clicked area of our mouse area and we just say button clicked, the function, see the two brackets, that will send the signal to say, hey, button's been clicked. Okay, so if we go over here now, let's, and we go to on button clicked, let's just say console dot log hello from a signal aka go oops wrong project hello from a QML signal aka go well I'm Joseph. I hope you got a grasp of what signals are and